You know what? <laughs> Never mind. Next week? Arthur? Arthur Hastings! Lovely day for it. Don't you lovely day for it, me, you idiot. It's me! Sally! Oh, I knew it was you. I mean, the glasses, the hair, the really adorable jacket. Don't ask me how. You're not that awkward little boy anymore, are you? But the way you walk, it's, it's like the mask isn't even there. I just, I just knew. There's Arthur. Sally? You look fantastic. This ancient thing? I've had it two weeks. I'm out of my mind with boredom. Green and white checked. Your dress, the last time I saw you. Running out the door. <laughs> oh, that horrible gingham dress. Oh, God, that takes you back. <sighs> You're off your joy. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Oh, you have little fucking faith. I'm not going to turn you in. Whatever possess you to go off your joy? <sighs> Percy. Oh, God. I saw a picture of him. I promised I'd look after him in Germany. I have to go and find him. How are you going to get out? Do you even have a letter of transit? Absolutely. On my desk, in the city. <laughs> Good Christ. Just tell the policeman that. I'm sure they'll wave your right on through. Yeah, haven't figured that bit out yet. I'm very close with General Bing. Of course you are. <laughs> no. You always did have a knack for making helpful new friends. I mean, I could go see him and ask him to give you a letter of transit. Don't put the general out on my account. I'm sure you've only so many favours you can ask of him. My God. You still hate me, don't you? Yeah, well, I've only been wondering for the past 14 years. We were 16! How could you? Because I liked him. Because he had that adorable beard. I don't know, there isn't a reason for everything. You're the last bloody person who should be off his joy. I can't believe you are. Believe me. Take enough stuff. Look. Some downer broke into my lab last week. Literally tore the bars off the windows and the ridiculous thing is I forgot to lock the front door. Point is... It's a horrible, terrible world out there. I just don't see you smashing your way into the city without a great deal of help. Oh, no. Not me. I'm living on the King's Road right now. Of course you are. I couldn't exactly have stayed there, could I? Like, nothing happened. <sighs> Look. I'm sorry. This isn't what I meant to... <sighs> Maybe we could help each other. Maybe I could come by when I'm feeling... better? Brilliant. You ass. How about going to the King's Road, knocking on her door and apologising grievously? And asking nicely for a letter of transit. She knows General Bing. You're right, game. You doing okay? Hold backspace to skip. This is still a cutscene, but it seems to be broken. Uh. Maybe they just gotta look around a little bit more. They're taking in the situation. It takes them a while. They're on joy, you know? It's kinda hard to think. Yeah, alright. He did. I know he did. Why aren't you? Ready? You need to be happy. Get happy. Black dog. Keep calm.
Well, it's for knocking down my blocks in kindergarten. Yeah, Arthur, you're such a jackass. Jesus. I don't know who these people are, because uh, I couldn't see the cutscene where they probably explained who they were. Oh, they had joy pills on them. I guess I can just take joy anywhere now. Oh, no, that's going to have... That's going to have joy in it. Oh. <laughs> I keep getting caught by that. Modeling dispenser, fill power cell. Oh, finally a recharge station. I got a bunch of these to charge. Oh, there's limited modeling. I can only charge one there. How do I use my flashlight? It's been forever since I've had that to use. I haven't had power again until now. I just don't remember. Is there a special button? No. Oh god. No, put that away. Doesn't seem to be a dedicated control for it. I don't know. Maybe like with that metal tube that sounded like it was for a flashlight. Maybe they're just one-time use items. Disposable. And you just have to craft another one. Which I don't have a recipe for. Oh, the quest says escape the plow boys. Well, I mean, I did that, didn't I? Did I not? Do I just need to, like, get out of the area? I guess. Now, now, what's all the scuffle? You've been having an altercation in the alley? Uh, nothing you need to worry about, Constable. I'll, uh, just be on my way. And where is it you're on your way to? Precisely. Just off to see an old friend on St. George. Oh, well. No need to be in such a hurry. The bridge to St. George is, uh, under renovations. Oh. For how long? I hesitate to prognosticate, sir. Dr. Faraday's the only one who knows how to fix the uh, ridiculous contraptions on them bridges. Word has been sent, but we've not had the courtesy of a reply. Why don't you, uh, I don't know, uh, go to Dr. Faraday's house? Because Dr. F has removed to a secret location, the, uh, location which headquarters keeps, uh, uh secret. All right. I'll ask your headquarters then. You some kind of troublemaker. Stay out of city business. I suppose if I want to go and make up with Sally, I need to get Dr. Faraday to come fix his bridge. So I need to visit police headquarters and find out where he's gone. Not risky at all. It's always a little extra complicated with Sally, isn't it? Well, you made it complicated. Go to the Bobby HQ. Great. Where is that? Right over there. I guess let's go now. Oh, it's the superimposing building with horrible oppressive architecture. Cons constabulary. Constabulary. Uh, hello. I'm attempting to locate Dr. Faraday. Uh, can you tell me where I can find him? I'm afraid that information is not for public consumption, sir. I could tell him where to find Bobby Hickenbotham, though. Oh, for heaven's sake. He's not at a reform club again, is he? He was supposed to go to Lud's own. Well, apparently he feels so guilty that Dr. F has been deprived of the liberties, which are the birthright of every English citizen, he's going to get his arse spanked. Constable Bevan, I'm not the public. I'm from the Department of Archives, Printing and Recycling. We're conducting an investigation into Dr. Faraday's handling of municipal records relating to the maintenance of the interinsular bridges. Two requests have already been sent by Miss Bing to your superior requesting this information. 
If I have to go back to the parade, Miss Bean's next letter regarding this apparently deliberate festivance will include the name of the last person I talked to. Will that be you, Constable, or the chap who keeps the constabulary's address book? In that case, sir, why don't you take the elevator on up to records? They'll sort you out. Thank you. I shall. What the hell is festivance? <laughs> I deprived Dr. Faraday of his liberties, but he made all the bridges. Did I get more skill points? Oh, I did. Ten. Yeah, let's get tech friendly. So electronic things are going to take a lot longer to see me. What? What does that button do? It opens the door? But it opens automatically. Huh. I mean, good to have a backup if the automatic sensors fail, you know? No one's looking. <laughs> There's nothing in it. Brilliant. Percival Hastings, is it not? No, it's Arthur. Percival went away. Odd. There are some things you think you will never forget. But then I suppose you do. I'm Arthur. Arthur Hastings. Memories play tricks on you, do they not? Frosted over doors. You can kind of still see through them pretty well, though. I wonder if I can just loot as much as I want, though. Fine linen. Nice. Two sergeant... Sergeant sergeant? Oh, right, we also have the note about Sally. And then there was Sally just off the King's Road. I wonder if Winston Churchill ever practiced and practiced a speech. And then when he gave it, it came out all hateful accusations and vitriol. And not at all what he wanted to say. Probably not. She was being all lovely and s slipped the surly bonds of Earth Sally. Only even more so. And then she said she was mates with Sir Robert B. Or more than mates, I suppose. And from then on, all I could think of was that horrible night. I wanted to beat a hasty retreat, but my legs wouldn't move and my mouth wouldn't stop. The really stupid thing is that I desperately need a letter of transit if I'm to get back into the city and out of Wellington Wells, and Sally offered to give me one, and so I cleverly chased her off. The thing is, I don't trust her. She was always so wonderful when she was there, but a girl like Sally, Sally always has so many better places to be, and better people to be with, or worse people that she prefers anyway for some reason. And sometimes she'd just hide in Percy's old room in the attic and not come down. Who knows what's going on with her now? I could try again. She's living on the King's Road somewhere, with bars on her windows and an unlocked door. Couldn't be that hard to find, and I could hardly be more of an arse than just now, so there's nothing to lose except my pride, again. I can swallow my pride, for Percy's sake. Yeah, one of the other character, playable characters is Sally. I wonder what playing as them would be like. Like, what kind of things would you do? So they're off their joy as well. So what are they up to? Request for persecution. Dr. Verloc continues to agitate for the apprehension and detention of his former protege, Miss Sally Boyle, claiming she purloined and absconded with his formula. 
or formulae, plural. Sally Boyle. Sally. Key card. That's going to come in handy. Constable Bevan. Again? Oh, it must be Thursday. Tell Dr. V to fuck off. Polite-like. Even if she wasn't the only source of Blackberry, the General would have our heads. Ooh. Memory. Germans want children. I don't know. Where are they taking them? I don't know. They won't say. When are they coming back? No one knows. They won't say. Why won't they say? Well, just shut it, Percy. Just shut it. Sorry. Till the war's over. I guess. They're losing, I think. But the radio... But, but the radio keeps talking about victories. Yes, but the victories keep getting closer to Berlin. I can't hear you. They keep winning, but they're then going backwards. That doesn't make any sense. It does if they're lying. People shouldn't lie. It confuses everything. Yes, yes, it really does. Oh, event. All right. <coughs> so I can use my key card, right? Yeah. I wonder if they would chase after me if they saw me going in here. Because they know I'm not a constable, of course. Let's see where this goes. Could just be an alternative way into there. I think it is. If they're alphabetical, maybe I can find Dr. F's address myself. F for Faraday. Well, that's a Bobby, isn't it? Yeah, and I can't take Bobbies down until I have a, a skill that seems to be pretty late game. to pick the lock, but that makes a little bit of noise, so I need to wait for them to be just a little bit further over there. Wait, do they not get that further over there? Is that about as far as they get? Yeah, they don't get too far away. Aha! Uh -huh. He certainly does have this place organized. Dr. Faraday's in Ludd's home. That's crazy. Why? And how do I get to Ludd's home? Aren't they renovating it? There could be other stuff in here, right? Any other boxes I can loot? Doesn't seem like I can loot anything else. No. Come on out there. What's going on?
Yeah, we're good. We're good. Oh, we got more skill points, too. I saw some new recipes. Faraday's location to Mrs. Beatrice Dollarimple. From Sergeant Sergeant. <laughs> There's Constable Constable, Sergeant Sergeant. I recognize the need for isolating Dr. Faraday at Dunsinane House. However, you cannot ask us to patrol Lud's home. The island is crawling with berserk wastrels infected with the plague. I can't place my constables at the mercy of mobs of homicidal lunatics spouting old English. And if, God forbid, one of them were to come back bitten or scratched, well, that's it for good old maiden home. If you must appoint someone you trust to look in on her. How about Bobby Hickenbotham? He's loyal, if not terribly reliable. And if he got bitten, no great loss. What should I spend my skill point on? Hmm, I think I should get Smooth Talker just because it leads to all this other stuff. Let's, let's just do it. Talking to people makes them trust you more. That leads to sprint quietly, tippy toes. Ooh. Interrogation report. Interrogation of Daniel Douglas by Constable Jack. <laughs> Constable Jack Constable. Subject lives at number two, Swallow Street, St. George Home. Subject states that the fog was particularly thick last night. He had to go to the window to shut it, as his living room was becoming particularly clammy. He heard a scream. It frightened him, and he screamed too. At that, a woman came half out of the fog. She seemed to be struggling with someone. She opened her mouth as if to call him, but then he noticed a line of red across her throat. Then she collapsed. Then a man came out of the fog and stared at him. He says the man's face seemed... Oddly familiar. The man then disappeared into the fog. He was about to call for help when a voice whispered very close. I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. At that moment, he closed the window and went to hide under his bed. At this point, the subject became quite distraught and began shouting that the constabulary must stop this miscreant forthwith. A doctor was promptly summoned. Dr. Trelawney, who administered the usual dose of joy... At this, the subject perked up quite a bit and departed. No woman's body was found on Swallow Street. However, a jubilator had recently passed the scene of the alleged incident. Lovely day for it. Did you hear? Coming to town. I was Lovely. worried about Bobby Hickenbotham. He's supposed to check up on Dr. Faraday, but he's at the Reform Club instead, getting his ass spanked. Hmm. He must have some sort of ID that lets him cross to Lud's hole. Maybe I could borrow it. Visit the Reform Club at night. Well, it's actually almost night time, so. Perfect, huh? Where is it? Oh. For some reason, I have a hard time seeing that icon. It kind of blends in with everything else. Oh, what's going on here? See you at the pub. Uh, you know, the wife's been under the no, no. Oh, God. Under the Lovely day for it. Did you hear about Constable Rossetti's wife's cake? Couldn't be better, thanks. Right as rain, sir. Right as rain. Lovely weather. I've got a new compliment machine. Joy joy so before he goes to bed. I think you'll be seeing a lot more of them in a considerable time. Should clear up soon, I imagine. Wait. <laughs> Just the sight of those. The, like, the reform club. two old people this hustling is where that around. This is supposed to be getting spanked, isn't it? The one with the credentials for crossing the bridge to Lud's Hole. I wonder if I can borrow his paperwork while he's busy being punished. The more you say spank, the more it really just sounds like a sexual thing. I have thing. feeling about this place. Like I should come back. Maybe not during the day. Come back after 9pm. 
Yeah, I'm not supposed to be out when it's nighttime, though. But... I guess I kind of have to, huh? Well, the hatch is over here. But there's a couple quest stuff. Let's do the quest stuff. Speaker's Corner, we gotta put flyers. Oh, you hear a little screamy baby back there? It's trans being, just being a little screamy baby. They do that. Mm, it's speaker's corner. Yeah, so some stuff over here. Oh, what's that? Church of St. Genesius. Let's put up the flyers first. Oh man, these gates are everywhere. Oh, I think I can disable this thing. Surely the guard would notice though. Wait, I missed one that I was supposed to put up here. Mm. Playing a little puddle. Cute. Lovely day for it. Did you hear? They caught Foggy Jack. Isn't that a relief? People are looking at me. Okay. I saw that. I oh, no. <gasps> yep. Yep, that didn't work. Oh, I'm dumb fooling around. Who's the nice guy? Huh? Oh, I've been over here at this ice skate back here before. We could hide in some flowers. I should probably put up the flyers at night. One real tenacious person with a frying pan. All right, we're good. Enough of that, then. Time for tea. Yeah. Lovely day for it. You're Sounds great. Looking nice and trim. Thanks. I can't wait for the new shipment of vegetables. I thought you didn't like vegetables. Yes, but no, I seem to have an unaccountable craving. My mouth waters at the very thought of cabbage. Come to think of it, I'd eat some cabbage. If I had it. Cucumbers too. I always used to like cucumbers. I'd sort of fallen out of the habit. I like veg that crunch, you know. I had a pickle a short while ago. Did you? When? Might have been last summer, come to think of it. I'll definitely be pickling some gherkins. When did they say the shipment's coming in? Didn't you hear, Uncle Jack? Any day now. They just have to do some maintenance on the bridge. Well, if Jack says it, it must be true, mustn't it? <laughs> Well, they don't pay him a lie to us, do they? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of the sermon? Oh, I never really listen. Just there for the cup. Cakes, are you? I get all my right. All right, I'm going to take Banzai lessons. You should come. in there. Wait, nothing? Oh, I thought every time they look like they put a letter in there, you could loot a letter. So the church of Simon says, I guess I have to go through that force field thing and get in there if I want to do that quest. Makes sense. Fair enough. Oh, what's this? Actually, what is this? This doesn't seem to lead anywhere. Maybe there's a quest to like go in this window? But I can't do that because I don't have a quest? Uh, yeah, I don't know. But anyway, let's just explore more around here. Till it's nighttime, I guess. 
found lovebirds hide nearby to observe the lovers. Well, that sounds creepy. These two? That was weird. We okay? <gasps> oh! They're not getting on very well, are they? I wonder if I can help him. Hey. Their name is Benedict. Not Benedict, but Benna Dick. Funny. You smell important. Yes, I'm a chemist, and I've invented a new cologne. I call it Mojo. It makes you smell like a doctor. You see, Beatrice has always had a soft spot for doctors. And you know how they have that distinctive smell. Mojo makes you smell like that. And it works? Not on Beatrice. Doctors are much nicer to me, but she is not. Have you tried giving her flowers? She only likes night-blooming nonsuches. And where would I get those? In the garden district. Right. Well, good luck then. I have some, of course. Although, yeah, I stored them all away, didn't I? <laughs> I did. I'll have to go get them. Couldn't be better, thanks. Oh, hello. Aren't you tall? Yes. I, uh... Oh, I suppose I am a little. There's room for two on this bench, you know. Oh, yes. Well, I suppose I could. To not be so tall and all. I love to come here and read. Do you like books? Yes. Who doesn't? I'm, uh... I've been collecting a lot of books recently. Uh, in, the gar in the garden district, if you can imagine. Oh, that's so brave of you. Ah, oh, they're not really cannibals, you know. You just have to talk to them. But don't they... bring you down? Oh, <laughs> well, I suppose they would if I listened. <laughs> you must tell me all about your adventures. I'd love to. I mean... Oh, goodness. I have to go see a chap. Do you have to? Oh, I... I sort of have to get back to the parade. Don't know when I'll be back. Hard to make predictions, especially about the future. <laughs> oh, come back any time. Oh, look at how colorful it is. Green, purple, and red mixed with all that water. It looks really cool. Lovebird's dig spot. Oh, it's not an actual message, right? It's just the dig spot. Right back here. Two canteens. That's fantastic. Fine. You're not. Your lips are blue and you're shivering. Where's your coat? In the closet. Why didn't you put it on? I don't know. It's been raining all day. Did you not notice the drops of water falling out of the sky? It... what? It... it wasn't raining. It was drizzling. Now you're going to get sick and then I'm going to get sick and then Dad is going to get sick. Dogberry Park. That's a wonderful name. Dogberry. Oh, I've almost made it back to the beginning of where I started. I just didn't explore all this stuff when I came through because I went all the way around the outside. All right. I learned a new patty cake routine. Lovely day for it. What a lovely... 
Yeah, let's go try to put up these things. Day to promenade. Indeed. Oh my god, look at this car. <laughs> that is so cool looking. Oh, that's not going anywhere. Odd. Why are there peepers patrolling the park? I should snoop around a bit. This area is under surveillance for your protection. Why? Why so protective? So I could just jump over, right? Although if I jump, people will notice. Just wait for them to go by, I guess. Let's make the quest active. Wait, what is this? What have we buried? Oh, there's something right there, apparently. Is that inside of here? Yeah. Oh, it started to spot me. Thankfully, it takes twice as long for them to spot me because of the skill I got. Tear stained letter, tear stained doll. Dearest Peggy, I'm so sorry, darling. Your father wouldn't let me keep your dolly in the house anymore. I know one day you'll walk through our front door. Maybe you'll be too old for your dolly, but I promised I would keep her for you. So I'm burying her next to the tree you so love to climb. Come back to us, darling, won't you? Love, your mum. Aww. So I just have the doll. Do you think I'm ever going to find the person to give the doll to? That'd be really cool if I could. But that feels so far-fetched and so far in the future if it's even at all possible. I don't need rusty shovels. <laughs> Let's eat a little bit. Where's my stuff? Blue current. Home. Okay, what else are we supposed to do here? That wasn't it, was it? No, maybe it was. Was that why this place was being monitored? They didn't want the doll or note to, like, worry anybody? Maybe? They have power sources in them. Wish I could grab those. Whew. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. Okay. What you call an angry German? Jack. I know what you did. When I feel like it, I will tell them. Your nemesis. O.S. <laughs> Your nemesis. There you are. Lovely day for it. Oh, it's almost nine o'clock. I need to get back soon. Really soon. But time actually passes kind of slowly in this game. So I think I have enough time to go try to put up the flyers. A joke? Why would you call it a sauerkraut? Is this some kind of English bird play? <laughs> The best black gang is of Duke of Leicester Street. Yeah, I don't think anybody will see me put this up. No, there's like nobody here. We won't have any more communist trash on our bulletin board. Oh, that didn't work. Or wait. 
body and it's also very sound inside. Why did they freak out? Did they just see us for a second or what? You will take your joy immediately. No, no, no. No, no. And we got one more up here. What did the Germans think? Oh, we got a couple bobbies. Lovely day for it. Lovely day for it. Would you like this? I don't think he's terribly popular. I better be discreet about posting this. Well, that's dreadful decent you. Lovely weather. No. Those are the nuts. <laughs> don't get a lot of thanks in the line of duty. All right. What? Are you new around here? Or did I just forget? It happens, you know. Oh, there's a lot of weird things happening here. Their walk, these leaves. Anyway, please go. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm just going to go for it. Down is a stealing. I've warned you, I people, about crowd. your in app sedition. Hopefully, not a violent one. I wonder how I could keep them pacified while he gives his speech. He's going to get himself hurt. Oh, this is a dead end. I think we'll be fine though. I think it was just that one person that saw us, not the bobbies. So just, they should forget uh, about us in a second. Watching the day go by. Yeah, we're fine. What time is it? Oh, it's almost nine. Uh oh. Most people seem to already be at home. There's almost nobody on the streets anymore. Um, so Speaker's Corner. If I want to continue that quest right now. Where was the other place to go to, though? I forgot. This one? Come back after 9pm. Yeah, where was that? Oh, it's all the way up there. Alright, well, Speaker's Corner is on the way. Easier to get around at night, except for the bobbies and the odd hooligan. Yeah, I need to be careful. Oh, they have flashlights, the bobbies. I could try to disable those things. That would just cause, I think, a very hectic bunch of noises. Oh no! Oh boy. I'll kill you up, all right. Maybe if I just go start the quest, I'll be okay. Um Hello? Um, I don't exactly have uh, an invitation as such, just a healthy curiosity. It's a private club. You must have an invitation. Find a way in. Oh, well, they stopped chasing me. There you are. Do you remember when we used to swim in the river? I, I don't. Oh. <laughs> that's that's a weird place to dance cuz it's like meant for people to watch, right? But you can barely watch. Even if you're right at the bars, you can like barely see him. Ah, oh, I can pry that open. Oh. It's just an invitation right here. Couldn't be better, thanks. You flirt. Hello. Please hold your invitation up to the camera. Oh, yes. That's lovely. Do come in. More of us every day. 